Okay, so we're now going to talk about accounting for bonds. I think that there's a couple of exercises that you must be able to do. These are two potential exam questions. And remember, we're thinking about just building up enough marks to get over the passing score. So uh, our learning outcome statement wants us to know about the initial recognition, uh, measurement, and subsequent measurements. So, so uh, here's what we need to uh, focus in on. For the bonds, uh, the initial measurement, it goes on the balance sheet at the present value of the future cash flows, not the face value. So not face value, this is critical. PV of cash flows. So we're gonna work through an example. And then this bond, if it's issued at a discount, it will amortize its way to par. Or if it's issued at a premium, it will amortize its way down to par. And throughout the year, we will be able to calculate the interest expense. So I think that, uh, that our job on this exam is one, to be able to calculate the initial uh, 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 liability that's on the balance sheet. Number two, to be able to calculate the interest expense. And then number three, potentially, right here, is the carrying value at the end of the year. So we've gotta go through this exercise. So from our workbook here, uh, here's the example that we're looking at. A company issuing a bond uh, at a yield of 7%, Face value is a million dollars. The coupon is 5.5%. The time to maturity is 12 years. And the issue price per 100 is 8808. So, uh, uh, how would we account for this? Well, on the uh, balance sheet, uh, we would put down the present value of cash flows. They gave that to us. This is 8808. Okay, we'll do this per 100. Okay, so that's the initial liability. Now, to get the interest expense, We'll take that initial liability and we will multiply it by the rate that was in effect when the bonds were issued. That's the 7%. So now if we do this math, let's, uh, let's uh, calculate the interest expense. 88.08 times uh, 7%. So this is uh, $6. I'll write it right up here. $6.16.56. So we've got the interest expense. Now, out of this interest expense, which is on the income statement, we have the cash. And the cash comes from the coupon. So our coupon was $5.50. So from this, I can now calculate the amortization, which is uh, 0.6656. So what does this tell me? Well, now it tells me what the carrying value is at the end of the year. I've got the initial liability of 8808. I'm going to add the amortization and I will get the carrying value. So let's just do this. 8808 plus the amortization. At the end of the year, this bond will be at 8874. And there it is, it's amortizing its way up to par. And so there's three potential exam questions here. The initial liability, the interest expense, which is reported on the income statement, and the carrying value at the end of the year. There it is, now we just need to get another uh, 157 more marks to pass. Great, okay, so we're on to the next.